This rugged borderland between England and Wales was the scene of many battles over the centuries. And it's a place with a rich tradition of ghost stories. Sal Masakella and historian David Mills Daniels are on the trail of England's last known sin eater, a man whose job was to rid the dead of sin and purge the land of ghosts. Here we are at uh, Richard Munslow's tombstone. This is his actual grave. Yeah, set. this is it. Wow. So this is the, the final sin eater. And there you see his family, his children. Yeah. Four children. Wow, this gives more of a, a, a sense of, of, of him as a person. Yeah, it does. I mean, you mentioned earlier that usually it was poor people yeah. that chose to, to practice this almost out of necessity, right. not necessarily choice. Munslow was a farmer, a, a family man. He seemed like he was fairly successful. Why would he choose this? Yeah, it is a curious choice, isn't it? I think particularly for someone like Munslow. The basic motivation he seems to have had is that his children died quite suddenly. Three of Munslow's young children took sick and died in a single week in 1817. David believes Munslow may have linked his personal tragedy to the notion that unforgiven sins were haunting the village this fear about the souls from the dead coming back to haunt their own society. What the Sin Eater was doing was saving society from the negative consequences of sin. So while they were viewed somewhat as a pariah mm. within the community, there's also this sense of this is a value. Right, yes. Christ taking on the sins of the world, but he has to die for that atonement to happen. And so Munslow, and he's agreed to be damned. Munslow seemed to have viewed it as this act of self-sacrificial love. Personal tragedy led Richard Munslow to become the last sin eater. Bereft by the loss of his children, he sacrificed his soul to save the soul of his community. He provided grieving families with a sense of peace that he himself would never know. For someone already so heavily burdened, it was an incredibly noble act. <laughs> 